Pfizer never came to India despite our hugely lucrative market. You know why? Two reasons. One, the Indian government insisted on a local trial, which Pfizer flatly refused. Second, Pfizer insisted on legal immunity, which the Indian government flatly refused. Pfizer lobbied very hard to change our laws, but our government did not relent. Many thought leaders were roped in to put pressure on the government. हमारी फाइजर से बात हुई फाइजर वाले कहते हैं जी आपको नहीं देंगे हम केंद्र सरकार से बात करेंगे इट वॉज सेड गवर्नमेंट शुड वर्क आउट लॉजिस्टिक्स टू मेक फाइजर वैक्सीन अवेलेबल वॉट लॉजिस्टिक्स इज ही टॉकिंग अबाउट टू चेंज आर लॉज टू प्रोटेक्ट द फार्मा कंपनीज ऑल मेजर मार्केट्स यूएस ऑस्ट्रेलिया ब्राजील ऑल ऑफ ई यू ग्रांटेड दिस लीगल इम्यूनिटी इनफैक्ट इन द यूएस Legal immunity to vaccine manufacturers goes back to the 1980s during Ronald Reagan's time. US government protected pharma companies such that separate vaccine courts were set up where trials were done behind closed doors. If an injury was linked to a vaccine, then the payment for the compensation was done by taxpayers money and pharma companies went scot free. India was being pressurized to do exactly the same. and now when the world is questioning pfizer and the world is questioning legal protection to vaccine companies india seems to be the winner here and you're not ashamed of what you've done in the last couple of years is it time to apologize to the world sir india is the only large market in the world where vaccine manufacturers do not have legal immunity we love to hate our laws but you know not having a law here is a good thing